Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a much requested video of healthy snack ideas. Not only healthy, but easy and fast because if you're like me, you can plan your main meals pretty well. Like you give it some thought, you go out and buy the ingredients, you make them and they can be healthy if you want them to be healthy. But snacks are the thing that you, when the hunger strikes, you just want something quick and fast and usually you'll reach for something that is not so healthy, something high in salt or sugar or unhealthy fats, just so you can get that quick fix and spike of energy that doesn't last very long. So today we are going to change that habit because for me, the key thing is to have the junk not available, but that is not always the case when you live with people that like to buy unhealthy things or like when your husband goes goes grocery shopping and only buys chips and chocolate and like cookies. So sometimes like clearing out your cabinet and not having any junk around is not an option. But then what is an option is to have healthy food options around. If you have some healthy snacks readily available or those ingredients to make those snacks quickly, then you will set yourself up for success. You will set yourself up to eat well, eat to fuel your body, eat to feel great because when we feel great we can do many things in life we will be productive we will have energy yeah we need all the like goodness in our life we can get what am i doing <laughs> this is gonna be a long video i've got 10 snacks for you guys so let's just jump into it you're not here for a ted talk Okay, so first up we have some cucumber roll-ups. These are great to have on the go. I made them for a little picnic I had with my husband the other day. It's just an easy way to pack in a lot of vegetables and it's delicious. Ingredients, cucumber, tomato, hummus, roasted red peppers, olives. You can add whatever veggies you like. You don't have to add these specifically. What you really need is a cucumber and some sort of dip. So you don't even have to use hummus, but hummus is really tasty, so I do recommend it. Cucumber, peeler, peel slices carefully. Did you know that if you say olive juice, it looks like I love you? Watch. We grew up next to a house of four boys. So we used to talk through the windows at night because our two bedroom windows used to face each other. And so we would always do that olive juice. And, like, and then oh, they'd be like, oh, I didn't really say it, you thought I said it. <laughs> Teasing the boys. It's like, you belong with me. Yeah, it literally was, you belong with me. But without the signs and with olive juice. Spread out your hummus, add your chopped vegetable mixture, roll it up and you're done. Now you might be thinking, Taylor, why don't I just stick the veggies in the hummus and eat it and call it a day? But you wouldn't be getting tiny morsels with the perfect amount of hummus, the perfect tiny little tidbits of uh, tomatoes and all the other veggies all into one bite where you have all the flavors and textures. Crisp, fresh, delicious. Hmm. Next up, we have rice crackers with nut butter and fruit. Ingredients, rice crackers or your favorite bread, nut butter, I'm using peanut butter today, and fruit. I'm going with raspberries, you could do strawberries, you could do blueberries, whatever kind of fruit you want. Lay down your rice crackers or bread, spread on your nut butter, add your fruit, smash it, done. This is something that I not only eat as snacks, but also as breakfast sometimes when I'm running late and I'm trying to rush out the door. It's just really fast and easy and tasty. And if you have a little bit more time and you want to make it cute and Instagrammable, you can do it this way. This time we're using cashew nut butter because it's a little bit creamier and lighter in color so that the red shows up really well. I was inspired by Maddie Riga's cute little toast on Instagram to do this sort of look. I think she actually uses pureed fruit or even jam because it's quite thick, but I'm gonna make a super easy version. I'm just gonna cut a raspberry in half and lay it on the toast so that it looks like a strawberry. Then I'm gonna take the littlest leaves from some fresh mint and pop them inside the raspberries. Look how cute. Honestly, it didn't take that much more time. It was just finding the little mint leaves, but it doesn't take that much more time. It's so cute. <laughs> This way looks better, but doesn't taste as good because the other one is evenly layered. So you get the perfect amount of fruit with nut. But yeah, it's still very good. Mmm, cashew butter is really good. 
Next, we're gonna make the most delicious, creamy, chocolatey, healthy smoothie. Actually, this was one I had uh, the other weekend when we went to visit Avo Bar, and it's left this thought in my head since that I need to have it again and I need to try to recreate it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Take one banana, chop off two pieces. These are very important for garnish later to make it look really pretty. And then add the rest of your banana to a blender, as well as half of an avocado, four tablespoons of the milk of your choice, one teaspoon of maple syrup, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and about half a cup of ice. I forgot the main ingredient. You actually need two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. Blend until smooth, pour it in a glass, garnish with your banana slices, and enjoy. Hmm, so rich and creamy. If you have chocolate cravings and you want a healthier version, try this, it is so good. It really tastes just like the Avo Bar one. Next, we have some little egg sandwiches. So to make the perfect boiled egg, you first wanna boil some water, slowly add in your eggs, cook it according to the yolk hardness that you like. I like mine at approximately seven and a half minutes. That is the sweet spot for me where it's a little bit tiny bit runny, so it's not completely hard. I find that that makes the eggs a little bit dry. Then have a bowl of ice water ready. Soon as the eggs are done, drop them into the water so that it stops the cooking process. And then you can leave them in there for about a minute before you peel them. Slice your eggs lengthwise. Add the toppings of your choice. I'm adding some vegan mayo, avocado, tomatoes, turkey breast, lettuce, some smoked paprika. I really love the taste of smoked paprika on top of eggs because it gives them a really deep, smoky, slightly sweet flavor. And it's done. Pop it in your mouth. This is the perfect high protein, healthy fat snack. This next one is gonna take you a little bit more time, but I promise you it is worth it because they are delicious. And honestly, it's not that much more work. We are using the oven, so we're gonna bake. It's just a little bit of preparation and then you can shove them in the oven and you can go do your thing, read a book, play with your pet, I don't know do something for like 15 minutes until you need to flip them again. Also, this is another one inspired by Avo Bar. I had their Cajun thick cut sweet potato fries and then I thought, oh, I should add Cajun spice to my sweet potato fries from now on. And then they made this really delicious sauce that I'm gonna try and recreate. So yeah, this, this whole video is kind of like inspired by my meal there, but it's really good and also pretty healthy. Take a couple of sweet potatoes, wash and chop them into thick cubes. The long, what is the shape? I'm trying to think of like rhombus, uh, cylinder, sphere. Cuboid. Cuboid. Chop them into cuboids. Just chip shape. <laughs> Rectangular shapes, does this, or? No, because it's there's a 3D element to it. Cuboids. Place your cuboids into, <laughs> come for the recipes, stay for, the chance to become a mathematical genius. Okay, so place your cuboids into, <laughs> place your sweet potato fries into a bowl. Add two tablespoons of avocado oil or olive oil. Mix it up to evenly distribute it. One teaspoon of Cajun spice, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a little bit of salt, and two teaspoons of cornstarch. Mix it all up really well and try to evenly coat your potatoes, then lay them on a lined baking tray. Slide them into the upper half of your oven and bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, or that's about 200 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, flipping them halfway through. So to make this sauce, we're gonna add basically the same spices and oil. One tablespoon of, mm. just kidding. Half a tablespoon of Cajun, pinch of Salt, tablespoon of avocado oil, about a half teaspoon of lemon juice, and three tablespoons of Greek yogurt. When your sweet potatoes are done, take them out of the oven, let them sit for a minute, and then stack them on a plate. Besides the sauce I made, I'm also adding some honey mustard and ketchup for more dipping options. Mm, this is perfection. Oh, best thing I've made now. I think I said that last time about the fluffy omelet. This is better. This is so good. This dipping sauce is so delicious. It's a little bit sour, a little bit creamy, a little bit um, 
fresh with the lemon and then the spice and it complements the sweet potato so well. Mm. Healthy nuggets, let's go. First grab your clean peeled sweet potato, grate it, some washed and chopped green onion, two tablespoons of tapioca flour, or you could use rice flour or regular flour, a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, some salt, pepper, two tablespoons of avocado oil, about 400 grams of lean ground turkey or chicken, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. So this is another recipe that will take you a bit more time, but I advise you to make a whole bunch because these are great to add into wraps or on top of rice bowls or something later so that you can have a quick and easy lunch or snack. Next, grab a lined baking tray, place your nuggets on it and bake it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, again, flipping halfway through. Kind of reminds me of the love child of a falafel and a chicken nugget. So it's got sort of the texture of a falafel, but then it's got the like chicken or turkey taste. And it's really satisfying. Well, if you're craving that sort of nugget, almost texture taste kind of thing, this is definitely a good healthy option. Mm. Lastly, I have two desserts for you. This first one is like a quicker, healthier apple pie. Everything's done on the stovetop and it's perfect to make for one person. So if you're craving something, but you're alone, this is a great dessert to make. First, heat up a tablespoon of coconut oil on low heat. Add in a chopped apple. You can use any kind of apple. Cook the apple until it gets soft between five to seven minutes. Add three tablespoons of oats, a squeeze of lemon juice, about a teaspoon of cinnamon. I think I added quite a bit. I like cinnamon, so you can kind of eyeball it if you like it, add a bit more. And a teaspoon of maple syrup. Stir it all up, cook for about another two minutes, and then add it to a bowl. And if you're feeling extra naughty, maybe add a scoop full of ice cream on top. Hmm, so comforting. This used to be my go-to snack when I was modeling, but I was also too lazy to even make it on the stove, so I would literally chop and microwave an apple <laughs> and eat it like this. Hmm. This is the last one. I was a little bit too ambitious when I said that I was gonna do 10 snacks. It's now 7 p.m. So I'm gonna finish on this one. Lastly, we're gonna be making a really quick and easy dip. A lot of people, myself included, love to eat fruits with nut butter. I love putting bananas with nut butter on top, but have you ever tried Nutella on it, but then not Nutella? We're gonna be making a healthy version of Nutella and it only takes three ingredients. It's so quick and easy and so tasty. Add two tablespoons of nut butter to a bowl, one teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa powder and one teaspoon of maple syrup. Mix it up really well and then you can serve it with your favorite fruit or nuts or whatever you like to dip in chocolate. So satisfying, it's sweet, it's salty, it's got a little bit of the healthy fats in it. it makes you feel fuller. So good. <laughs> I think banana will be even better actually. Just have to try for research purposes. Mm. Try it, add a bit of cocoa powder to your nut butter. It's a nice little, little uh, way to spice it up. All right, and those are all of my favorite healthy snacks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some inspiration for some healthy snacks for you to try yourself. If you do give them a try and you do take a photo, please tag me and or let me know how you liked the recipe. Also comment below which ones you, you do wanna try or which ones you like or your favorite snacks so I can get some more inspiration for some snack ideas for myself. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I always have to do so many. Like, let's not do five or six outfits. Let's do 20. Let's not do a couple snacks. Let's do 10. <sighs> oh, hi.
No, it's the perfect avocado. Can't waste it. You're just trying to give me content. <laughs> no, I always do that. 